Hey guys, I'd like to start off today by saying that um, these the, the totals are estimated. This is not professional business advice. Um, buying liquidation and reselling on eBay is risky. You can lose money. And um, the tools that we are using are estimations, not exact quotes. And they are not guaranteed to work. All right, thanks so much. Hey guys, welcome back. This is part three of the Wholesale Ninja Ross clothing unboxing. Um, I, I still have a little bit left. Um, I did get through most of it, so uh, here we go. Um, it, and again, the, the, the further we get into these videos, the worse that the items are going to get. Um, so th this, like Nibirin, I, I don't know what that is, but it's just this kind of cropped sweater, and I, I would be lucky to get $5 for that. Um, same thing, we saw this yesterday, but I had it in a, a different size, which is good because I didn't have to take pictures. Same thing with this, had it in a different size. Um, I got this in small, medium, and large. We saw that yesterday. Same thing for this, same thing for this. Um, there were these uh, black slacks that kind of had a like an, a corduroy or accordion kind of texture to them. I think that they would probably go for like 10 to $12. Um, there was this uh, cowl neck top. I got two of these. Um, and cowl neck is supposed to be in right now. Um, let's see, that's the, the top that I was talking about. Um, I had this in another size. So a lot of these items are duplicates from yesterday. Um, a, a kemi or a, a semi, not really sure what that is, but again, more junior stuff. I actually didn't think that it was too bad. And again, we saw that already in a different size. Um, this was, I, I'm not really familiar with DW Sport, but I would expect the pants to go for 10 to 12. Um, so this like diva top, I, I got two. One was in black, white and red, and one was in black and white. And um, they both were, I think they're really old. Um, some of the clothing in this lot came from 2007 because the the top is all messed up. There's like some padding here and where they did the sewing stitch, it just doesn't, it, it's just a really terrible job. So um, this I did not get as part of it. Um, there was some exhilaration. Exhilaration is a Target brand um, for juniors. Not, not a lot, but at least it had all of the retail tags on it. Um, Kira, I believe, is a Pac Sun brand at the mall, but I, I couldn't be sure. This was actually a pretty nice skirt, and I think it would probably go for 10 to 12. Um, I saw something similar to this yesterday, this No Boundaries Walmart stuff. Um, and then here's the black and white skew of um, that white and red top that we just saw. You know, again, just not good. All right, so we are going to do a little bit of math because when the items get really terrible, we have to be careful about how we're going to get to our numbers and we might have to wait and hold our price. So we're gonna go to, um, it, it, it's called ebayfeescalculator.com and then you get on the US one. Um, and this is stuff that I typed in earlier. So let's say so i paid 270 dollars for all of the items okay now i'm not going to sell all of them okay so yesterday we were kind of talking about like an 11 dollars price point like what if so i had i got 100 items in the lot but i only have a 25 percent sell through rate so I would expect to sell 25 of the items, and if I got $11 an item, that would be $275, and that's not going to be enough, right? We need to make more than that. Um, so let's just say 25 times 15, that gets us to 375. Um, so let's say we sell those 25 items for $375, and... Um, most of the items are going to be five dollars uh, well 5.99 so six times 25 items is 150 so we're going to charge 150 dollars in shipping costs and then the actual shipping cost is only going to be 125 so th and again this is because the majority of the items are going to be for eight ounces 
Um, I do have a starter store. Number of orders. We're going to ignore that and just see if the math or yeah let's let, let's ignore that um well yeah let, let's ignore that because we're already doing the math here in the in the calculator um so if we go down we're gonna I, i'm not doing promoted ads i'm not donating to charity i'm not doing overseas sales and we're gonna pretend like sales tax doesn't exist so if i was able to do that i would get 67 dollars and nine cents for a profit that's taken into consideration that I paid $270 for all of the items, only 25% of the items sell. Now, let me tell you, I do not have... I do not have 25 $15 items. So the math is going to have to work out in another way. Um, so let, let's just think about what if we could sell if we could sell half of the items um, so you know 50 at seven dollars and fifty cents that would be the same number um, so if we can kind of hold out on that number we would get the money back and make a profit of sixty seven dollars and nine cents that is a lot of work for what I have done and I hope the wholesale ninja sees this that they, I mean they can't really charge us two dollars and seventy cents for junior items from Walmart and Target um, you just you cannot make money on that I mean they, they need to sell it cheaper they need to buy it cheaper from the companies and they need to sell it cheaper to us but um, well maybe I will be wrong um, we will see what happens with the this stuff I'm gonna keep track of it and um, so that everybody can see but uh, this is not professional business advice, but I would say if you're going to buy from Wholesale Ninjas, it would make more sense to buy the starter pack because you're getting the items at, you know, currently under a dollar a piece. Although I'd, I'm not quite sure what the shipping would be because I've never gotten that before, but just getting that cost down from two dollars and seventy cents to a dollar is huge. Um, anyway, let me know what you think. Um, Go ahead and leave a comment leave a smiley face for me so that i know that you're listening you can even leave a frowny face so <laughs> if, if you don't like what i got um I, the first video has the best items so it's not like they were all junior items from walmart and target but the majority of it was stuff like that and that is not good um Anyway, click subscribe if you want to stay up to date on this. I'm going to be posting the rest of the items, you know, probably tomorrow. I, I didn't get a lot done today. I don't know what I was doing. But um, anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.